how long does it take for a body to recover after pregnancy and birth? We now have one of the most extensive studies ever done. Scientists collated the results of over 300,000 women, tracking 76 different biomarkers from pre-pregnancy, during pregnancy, and after birth. And the results are totally fascinating. There's some good news and there are some bad news. So let's get into it. First of all, just take it all in per second. This gray part in the graphs is the pregnancy period. And out of all these biomarkers, there doesn't seem to be one where there isn't a dramatic change. These biomarkers are measuring the function of every single organ in the body, from kidney function to liver function, bone density, blood clotting factors, immunity, hormones. Here's the interesting results. Almost of these biomarkers return to pre-pregnancy level within the first month after birth. However, there is a long tail and 41% take more than 10 weeks to return to pre-pregnancy levels. And Another interesting observation is that there's an overcompensation period for some of these biomarkers. Take for example ALT, biomarker measuring liver damage. Because it drops to much lower levels during pregnancy, it will overshoot in the weeks following birth and then settle back into pre-pregnancy levels. Most importantly, scientists were able to observe very interesting trends for when things go wrong. For example, in the women that went on to develop preeclampsia or gestational diabetes, their biomarker profiles were different than the healthy controls and in some cases changes were apparent even at the preconception level. This is incredibly important for the 140 million women that get pregnant each year and can not only help with early intervention or even finding biomarkers for screening for certain disorders during pregnancy and birth, but also to quantify and influence the policies that we create around pregnancy and mothers in our societies. So what do you think? Were you surprised by these results?